I'm one of those guys that it's, I'm really fortunate because I can actually shoot on my back porch and uh, my office is just right over there hiding inside the house. I've done a lot of gun testing here. We've made a lot of videos here before and stuff. And uh, readers and viewers regularly ask me about this little rest that I have here. And I have to tell you, <laughs> I'd like to take credit for the design, but I can't. Uh, an old fellow I know is the one that had one of these and I spotted it and I said, I'm gonna steal that idea from you. And he said, that's just fine, go ahead. Uh, what we have here is something that's really simple. Uh, if you have a section of four by four or two two by fours, or these are actually three quarter inch, you know, one bys that are nailed together like this, and then two sections of plywood like this, by aligning them up off center this way, you can have this be this high, and if you flip it, it changes the height. You flip it again, it changes the height. And when you're testing guns, even rifles, it's so handy because you can set something up like a bag like this and say, oh, that's a little bit too high, let's try this angle. And you can basically make this for free. So I got to thinking about it, and what we're gonna do is buzz on up to my shop and let's make one together and I'm gonna show you how to do it. And uh, I think you'll have a lot of fun. And even if you're stuck in urban America, if you've got a handsaw and a hammer and some nails and some scrap wood, you can make one of these. My shop is at the other end of the property, which is a few hundred yards away. So we're gonna buzz up there and uh, we might or might not see the chickens. I'm not sure, so bear with me. We're gonna drive by the uh, pole barn where you'll see the tractors. That's Susie Tractor Scooter and the chicken coop. So, all right, I'll see you up at the shop. Okay. Let's get cracking. I know my shop may look cluttered, but it's exactly the way I like it. So, hey, let's find some wood, which like all itinerant woodworkers, I'm a hoarder because every offcut is precious, as you well know. Actually, in today's world, it really is precious. So, uh, as we go by, you can admire my 66 Ranchero, which I got not too long ago. Uh, 289, I'll have you know, factory air. So, uh, all right, I got wood offcuts over here. Let's see, uh, we're looking for two by fours. Well, you know, actually I got two two by fours that are just about ready to go. I have a feeling this will work good. I built some shelves the other day and I saved the off cuts and I knew I saved them for a reason. Okay, what we need to do is decide how big the sides are gonna be on this. And remember, you're not restricted by the size that I'm telling you. If you need something that is higher, then you could have bigger end pieces. Uh, frankly, I don't think I'm even gonna cut these. I'm gonna use them just like they are. Uh, the two by fours, I am gonna uh, go ahead and give us a certain length. Again, none of these measurements are critical, so just you know, use whatever you have at hand. What I did was I took these two two by fours apart because they were just pinned together with a couple nails and they weren't very good. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and screw them together uh, firmly with some good old-fashioned deck screws so uh, that'll secure them and then we'll cut it to length. What we need to do now is cut this to length and I'll do that on my chop saw. Our sample one uh, is 12 inches, and so based on your needs, you know, if you're shooting a high power rifle maybe that's got a big stock on it, you might want a little bit more room for sandbags. But I think that sort of 10 to 12 inches would be just about right for us. So uh, I'll probably cut it and square the ends right about here. Okay, we've got our centerpiece, which is like that one, and we have our end pieces, which are like these. You can see these are a little bit bigger than the old one, but that's okay, it just gives you more versatility, actually. Now, this is where the magic happens, and you'll notice on the base here that it's, of course, not put in the center. It's put to one edge, and so it's offset like that, and that's what gives you the magic, <laughs> which is maybe a strong word, I don't know, uh, of that height adjustability depending on how you rotate the rest. 
and that's what I like these uh, just uh, independent bags like this because that way it's easy to adjust uh, for whatever you're shooting. You want a wrist rest, you want a forend of a rifle or something like that. So our next step then is simply to align that cross piece with our end pieces. Well, this is the part that always scares everybody because it scared me the first time I did it, which was I was really paranoid about, well, how, how do I get this measurement right? You know, well, there really isn't a right measurement. If you remember, the only point is that you want to make sure that this isn't mounted in the center. If it's mounted in the center, then no matter how you flip it, it's always going to stay the same. But if you mount it off center like this, now every time you flip it, it's going to be measured differently. Do you see that? So what I like to do is have one measurement to, so it's almost flat to the work, you know, to the bench top. And then now when you flip it, it'll be this much higher or this much higher or this much higher. Now the only really important measurement is to make sure that it's aligned correctly on the other end. And I'll show you how to do that. What you need to do is get yourself a measuring device of some kind and you want to measure this dimension. That's okay, this is two inches, that's easy. We can put a line here. And then you'll measure this dimension. And so that's about whatever that is. You know, say it's about a half an inch, it looks like. So now we know we just have to find these distances on the other uh, end piece, and then you know you'll be lined up. This is the other end piece, and now we know we just have to translate those measurements. So there is one. That's the two-inch one. And then we came up. It was uh, just not quite a half an inch. So here we go. And remember, these aren't really critical. <laughs> and so now, lo and behold, we know that we can align this one up here and it aligns exactly the same spot on the other end piece. And uh, through, through a miracle of technology, basically you'll end up with that. I've aligned up uh, one of the end pieces and we're gonna start a uh, dry roll screw. And so now if we flip it over, uh, we can make sure in case it's moved a little bit, but it looks pretty good. So I'll put another dry wall screw in just to kind of align it roughly. Remember, we're not building fine furniture here, you know? I suppose, there we go. I suppose you could get as complicated and detailed in this as you want to. And if you want to do finished sanding and staining and shellac and the whole deal, uh, there's nothing wrong with that. And as a matter of fact, trust me, I've already done it to some of these and use them as gifts for people. Uh, but for the kind of stuff that you just want something to take to the range, and it's going to get beat up, it's going to get rained on, the dog's going to chew on it, just knock something out like this. You know, for a total investment of essentially nothing from my scrap, scrap wood bin and, uh, I don't know, 25 cents worth of drywall screws, uh, we have a kind of new and improved fancy uh, uh, system here. I actually really like the idea of having this extra tall uh, option. Uh, because a lot of times you're shooting an AR rifle and maybe you have a 20 round magazine or something and you need that increased height over this other one. So essentially then we would have AR-15 style, uh, maybe a handgun style, uh, maybe a lower rifle style, and maybe one for wrist shooting. Fast and easy four position adjustable rest. It's for handguns, it's for rifles, it's for whatever you think you need to need it. You know, if you enjoyed this sort of a thing, and trust me, I do this kind of stuff every day. If it's not in my shop, I'm out on the tractor, we're out taking care of chickens, we're shooting in the backyard, we're reloading, we're doing gunsmithing, we're welding, we're working on my cool old car. So if you wanna see some more, let me know, okay? Make a comment. Uh, about this video if you have any questions or if you'd like to see other things specifically and I'd be happy to see if we could tackle them for you. So don't forget to subscribe and if you're a shooter, remember the four firearm safety rules, okay? Hey, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.